Structural inequities in American society have created two different Americas, one of which rarely gets to experience the ideas of democracy and self-empowerment. With the gap between those in power and those historically marginalized growing, further exacerbated by the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's time to examine more democratic and power shifting approaches to structural change. In preparation for our upcoming conversation with the Heron Foundation and the Boston Ujima Project on shifting power from funders to communities, we have been exploring the larger landscape of funders who are adopting a more participatory approach to funding. These range from small grassroots community-based funds to larger foundations. In this model, funders include more representative voices into investment decision-making and design investments with, and not for, local diverse communities. One example of this is grassroots community movements, where organizations take a deliberate, bottom-up approach focused on empowering community members as decision makers and investors. The Ujima Project is doing just that in Boston's small business ecosystem. Another example of this is the Heron Foundation, a large private foundation working with community and philanthropic partners and is now launching a phased approach to shifting more of its investment decision-making power to local communities. Join us for the second installment in our Ideas That Transform series as Beck Center Executive Director Sonal Shah leads a conversation with Lucas Turner Owens, the former fund manager of the Boston Ujima Project, and Dana Bezerra from the Heron Foundation on August 18th at noon Eastern Time. Register now at bit.ly slash Beck Ideas. We look forward to having you.